Okay guys, so uh, this is our video for uh, continuation ng ating spot speed study. You know? So, uh, during that discussion, we come up with three graphs. The histogram, the frequency distribution, and the cumulative distribution graph. Okay, so first, let's try to emulate one of this table. Okay? So, in emulating this table, now we have the column 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And we have here all the observation data, the 86 observation data. Okay? So, first, uh, column 4 is just FIUI. So, that is simply the, uh, the product of column 2 times column 3. Then, we drop it down here. Okay? Ito na yung... FIUI nyo. Then, when you sum it, ito na yung pwede nyo kunin for your uh, arithmetic mean. So, kunin natin yung arithmetic mean natin. Okay? So, uh, any, uh, on that video, uh, we determined that the arithmetic mean is equal to the summation of, of FIUI over the summation of FI. So, ano yung summation ng FI? So, ito yan. Okay? 86. So, in getting the mean, you just have to divide the summation of column 4 over the summation of column 3. So you have 49 point uh, or estimated 49.5 miles per hour. Okay? Next is yung column 5 which is the percentage of observation class. So that is equal to uh, 2 over 86 and you will have 2.3%. Okay? Then, just drop it down. But remember to put the upper sign here before yung 20 para hindi magmove yung cell mo na yun. Okay? So, you have here uh, the same percentages dito. Okay? So, column 5 natin. Okay? Next is yung column 6 natin which is the cumulative percentage. So, sabi ko kani in the previous video, yung first value, we just copy it. Okay, so this is equivalent to 2.3% then, okay, then you summation it, yung cumulative is yung previous plus yung uh, kasunod, okay, then you just drop it down, so it is the same for column 6, okay, and for column 7, okay, so in column 7 natin is uh, equal to F. Ano yung F natin? So, yung F natin is yung column 3 times uh, the difference between yung U, which is yung column 2, minus uh, yung arithmetic mean natin, then you square it. Okay? So, hindi siya exact value kasi meron tayong rounding off. Okay. Then we just drop it down. Okay, put ampersand here. Then you have your values. Okay, so hindi siya exact also. Let's just hide it. Okay. Okay. So first, uh, we get the histogram. So paano ba yon? So you put, you go here, insert, then. Uh, insta uh, histogram, okay? So, una, mayroon kang blank uh, chart. So, paano ka maglalagay? So, select data. So, dito sa chart data range, uh, you edit it, itong 86 data observe ang ilagay mo. Okay? Then, dito sa uh, wait, hindi ko, hindi ko kita. Move muna natin to dito. Dito natin. Okay? So, Select data. Dito is yung 86 na values. Okay. Then dito is itong yan. Okay. So, meron ka ng histogram. Okay. And uh, it's not actually the same dun sa before natin pero that's almost similar. Okay. Pwede na yan. So, kung gusto mong i-format yung axis natin, dito tayo sa bin width, no, by ito lang, okay, para makita mo talaga yung actual Instagram ng, uh, ng data mo. Okay? 
next is yung ating uh, next is yung ating uh, frequency distribution. So, uh, hide natin muna tong 3 and 4. Okay? So, ang mahalaga is yung 2, 5, and 6. Okay? Kung makikita nyo, dun sa 2 and dun sa 5, no? Kung, uh, ang kukunin mo lang is yung uh, yung data or yung pair na uh, nasusunod dun sa trend nung katulad nung na dun sa ating table. Okay? Alin ba yun? So, wait lang. Okay, so our target mo sa frequency distribution is to produce a curve that uh, something like this. Okay? So pataas siya, tapos bigla siyang bababa in order for you to get the pace. Kasi ano ba mangyayari pag itong lahat yung consider mo? So if you insert a scatter graph here, so something like that yung lalabas. So uh, hindi pwede yan. So in order for you to get this kind of graph, okay, kailangan mong i-analyze yung data. Alin yung alin yung nagpa-follow dun sa distribution natin. So, sa first, no, kailangan natin is pataas, then pababa. So, constant dapat yung pagtaas. So, uh, itong dalawa, you copy it. Okay? Okay? Itong sa 39, kung makikita mo, mas mababa siya. So, uh, you can, uh, pwede mo siyang hindi isama. Next is yung 41. Pwede mo siyang isama kasi mas mataas siya dun sa 3.5. Then, yung 12.8, pwede mo rin siyang isama. Then, yung 47 mo is 4.7%. So, hindi siya, uh, hindi mo siya isasama. Yung peak mo, which is yung 49, kasama yan. Then, after that, is, uh, itong, ito na mga kasunod niya. Okay? Then, uh, once you uh, determine yung mga data na kailangan, na pwede mong i-consider, okay? You just highlight this, okay? Go to insert, the scatter, okay? Then you would have something like that, okay? But then, okay, wait lang. So, first is yung uh, 5.3, yung 45 is yung 12.8, okay? Then sa 55, uh, that are 49, okay? So, sa 49, yung kakapihin natin dito, Ganyan. Okay? Ay, ulitin natin, guys. Okay? So, first, itong 35 and 37. Okay? Copy lang natin yan. Next is yung sa 41. Copy lang natin. Okay? Next is 45. Next is yung 49. Okay? Then, after 49, ito na siya. Ito na yung value na yon dito sa pinakataas. So, kailangan na siyang bumaba. Okay? So, dito sa 55, pwede mo siyang gamitin. Okay? Then, hanggang dito na sa pinakababa. Okay? So, you highlight lang. Then, insert the scatter plot. Okay? Then, you would have the same graph as that one. Okay? So, kung gusto mong uh, i-format yung axis mo, okay, you format it. So, yung minimum mo is 35. Enter, then you have a bigger graph. Okay? So, nasan dyan yung pace, no? Kung makikita nyo, it's from 45 to 55. Okay? Next is yung frequency distribution natin. So, Ano ba yung frequency distribution natin? Or yung cumulative frequency distribution? Hide lang natin to. Okay? So, pag hinide natin yan, of course, mawawala yung graph dito sa dalawa. Delete natin to. Okay? So, itong 2 and 6, na insert lang ulit, uh, scatter plot. Okay? Then, you have that uh, frequency distribution or cumulative Frequency distribution. Okay? So, format nyo lang yung axis. 
para mas makita nyo. Okay? Yung format, no, yung minimum natin is 30. Enter. Uh, gawin natin 35. Okay? Then, dito naman sa y-axis, format natin. Okay? Yung maximum is 1. Then, dito, try nyo 0.05 in order for you para makita natin. Kita na natin yung nasa 50% and nasa 85%. So, that is how you prepare your spot speed data analysis using your Excel. Okay? Sige. So, that's it for this week. We will see, I'll see you next uh, meeting. Okay? Thank you.